friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a cataract with grade 2 nuclear sclerosis it is believed by some colleagues that it takes a lot of time to manage such cases with oatly cataracts 3 recommendations this is a totally unedited real time surgery let us see how much time it takes to manage this case by this time the main incision and a side port on the right side of the main incision has been made visco has been injected into the anterior chamber and now this is another side port on the left side of the main incision and now capsulorexis is being done with the help of this uterita forceps the capsular tag is raised this capsular tag is guided anticlockwise all around to get an adequate size rexis of about 5.5 mm and now hydro dissection is to be done I use a 27 gauze cannula and BSS to do hydro dissection here it is fluid wave goes to the opposite equator the nucleus is stabbed and the nucleus is mobilized so the nucleus rotates nicely and now the anterior chamber is filled up with 2% HPMC and the tip of the FECO needle is introduced the machine is Oatly Cataract 3 I'm at 450 vacuum and 45 fluorite ultrasonic energy set at 60% but the ultrasound will be controlled by foot switch and most of the time the ultrasonic energy used will be 20 to 30 percent some superficial cortical lens matter is removed and now the tip is buried into the substance of the nucleus and I remain at the center of the nucleus where it is possible to hold a nucleus of this density if we go beyond the center central part the nucleus or the lens matter will be just eaten off so the trick is we have to be at the central part of the nucleus be there use the chopper to slice the nucleus into pieces one heminucleus has been removed this is the other heminucleus it is also chopped and the pieces are emulsified and this is the last bit of the nucleus you can see that at no point of time I am at hurry it is just as if the surgery is being done quite slowly and now cortical cleanup is to be done by the time my assistant gets ready with the bimanual irrigation aspiration I take Simco cannula attached to a separate ringer lactate or BSS and remove this half of the cortex and now the irrigation cannula goes to the right side port aspiration through the left and these half of the cortex is removed by bimanual irrigation aspiration and it is done and now watch hydro polish this is how we can polish the posterior capsule just by the irrigating cannula it is done And now I'm going to use a B cartridge to implant the intraocular lens. So I enlarge the main wound a little bit. So the 2.8 millimeter wound becomes 3 millimeter. And now here goes the intraocular lens. The lens is implanted, keeping the antechamber formed by 
irrigation and this is known as hydro implantation keeping the anterior chamber formed by hydro that is VSS and implantation of the intraocular lens no visco is used the advantage is we save a lot of time which is to be dedicated for cleaning of the visco that much time is not required and now this is a bit of moxifloxacin the side ports are closed by hydrating corneal stroma with BSS and then the case is almost done a final lavage of the entry chamber is done and you can notice that the main wound doesn't require any hydration for its sealing you just use the Simcoe to form the entry chamber place the Simcoe in this way and come out and now I check the integrity of all the wounds by a cotton taped Janssen bard and then apply a few drops of moxie over the ocular surface and conclude the case thank you very much for your attention so we have completed the case in about six and a half minute so if we know the machine if we know how the machine behaves and if we raise our skills to a certain level surgery can be safe and swift